Calling all octonauts. Quasi. Peso. Charter. Dushi. Inkling. Wait. Turn up. <coughs> Quasi. Activate creature report. Creature report. Creature report. Creature report. Fast. Sly meals live in deep dark sea. Check. Check. They check. can hear and smell but cannot see. Check. Check. If they're scared, they squirt out goo. If you scare them, they'll slime you too. They can fill a bucket full of gloves. Check, check, check. And when they start, they just don't want to stop. That's break! Yes, Slime Meals! Yes, Slime Meals! Yes, Slime Meals! Yes, Creature Report! Creature Report! Creature Report! We're done with our mission. Octonauts at ease. Until the next adventure! Quasi, what happened? I found the spyglass, but before I could grab it, I got slimed! Who goes there? We may not be able to see, but we can still smell you and hear you, Dag Nabbit. Uh-oh. It looks like this is slime eel territory. Get off our property or I'll slime you again. Sorry, Quasi. We've got to go. Why? But what about the spyglass? Just leave it, Quasi. Choo! No, it was me grandfather's, and it should be mine. But Quasi... Three. Okay, boys, let him have it. <gasps> Give me two seconds, and I promise I'll be... And then we ran in and Quasi was covered all over with this disgusting slime. Fascinating. A single slime eel can produce a bucket of slime in no time at all. Tell me about it. That's the slime eel's way of protecting itself and its home, especially since it can't see. There certainly were a lot of slime eels protecting that spyglass. Not to mention spiky sea urchins and tangly seaweed. Sorry, Quasi. It's probably too dangerous to go back. What would a slime eel want with a spyglass anyway? <sighs> I'm going to bed. Calico Jack. Spyglass. It's mine. 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 The spyglass is mine! <sighs> Quasi. This time, I'm not leaving without that spyglass. <gasps> um. Blennies live near the shore. Check, check, check. They swim, but they do one thing more. Check, check. They can use their fins to stand and even walk upon the sand. Blenny fins work just like feet. Check, check, check. A fish that swims and walks. Hey, that's pretty sweet. Chance break. Go, Blennies. Go, Blennies. Go, Blennies. Go, Blennies. Report. Report. We're done with 
Mr. Michelle. Octonauts at ease. Until the next adventure! It could take Captain Barnacles a while to find us here. If he could find us at all. Don't worry me, hearty. I learned how to get off a desert island back in me pirate days. All we have to do is build a raft and sail away. Let's do it. I've almost caught up with them. Where's the gub E? Huh? What's that dogfish got? You've got the gub finder. But that means Quasi and Peso could be anywhere. Time to set sail. Leaving already? Well, till we meet again. Goodbye, me hearty. Nice to meet you. Heave ho, matey. Sinking. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Our raft is gone. This is a disaster. Don't worry, Peso. I'll think of something else. Wait, I have an idea. Maybe we could send a message for help. That's impossible, me hearty. We've got no radio, no gut finder, nothing. We just need a messenger. We can't get off the island, but we can send a message with someone who can. Huh? Blenny! Would you deliver a message to Captain Barnacles on the Octopod and tell them where we are, please? I'd love to, but Blennies like me don't go in deep water. We have to stay in the shallow water around the island, you know? But what if you swim out just far enough to pass the message along to someone else? Hey, that's a great idea. Consider it done, my friends. See? I told you I'd think of something. <sighs> well, this is about as deep as I can go. Oh, hey, excuse me, Bluefish. Spare a minute. Oh, hello. Hi, I need to get a message to the deep. Tell Captain Barnacles that there are two octonauts named Quasi and Peso, and they're stuck on a desert island. I can't swim too deep, but I can pass along the word to some folks who can. Thanks! You're a pal! Oh, hello there, Giant Squid. Can I ask you a favour, please? I need to pass on a message. Tell Captain Barnacles, two Octobots named Crazy and Pesto are stuck in the desert. Need some help? All right, I'll tell me friends. Calling all Octonauts! Quasi! Peso! Charlton! Dishy! Inkling! Wait! Turn up! <clears throat> Quasi, activate Creature Report! Creature Report! Creature Report! Creature Report! Back! Or fish swim while standing up! Check! 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 They're longer than all the cups! Check! Check! Brew. They look so scary, but they never bite! They have no teeth and they won't fight. They're the longest fish alive. Or fish are hard to find, but that's because they're shy. Let's break! Go all fish! Go all fish! Go all fish! Creature report! Creature report! Creature report! We're done with our mission. Octonauts at ease. Until the next adventure! I've brought my little brother Pinto with me. Ah, oh, very good. We'll see you both in a few minutes. Pinto, scarf off, helmet on. Good to see you again, Pinto. Hi. Glad you're here to help out your brother. Where's the patient? Right this way. I bet it's a barracuda, or a devilfish, or, or maybe even a giant octopus. Oh. That's the patient? Uh -huh. Say ah. Uh. I reckon it's really, really serious. Can you even talk? Uh, actually, 
I've got a bruise on me fin. Pinto, would you please hand me your stethoscope, a thermometer, tongue depressor, body cast! Just a bandage roll, please. There, that should do it. Dashi, can you please take a picture so I can show my friends what a hero my big brother is? No problem. You should rest. Would you like to come back to the octopod with us so that you can get better? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Good work, Peso. And Pinto. We still have some exploring to do around here. See you later back at the octopod. Wow, an anglerfish. <gasps> What's that? Are you a snake or an eel? Uh, hey guys, would you come over here and help me work out what I'm looking at? Hey, what is that? I wonder what that was. It was huge. Ah, oh, a tail like that can only belong to one thing, mateys. The dreaded monster of the deep known as the Nakawak. The Naka what? The Nakawak. He's as big as three whales set end to end. Each tooth is the size of a dolphin. And he's crafty. Knocks over ships just for the fun of it, he does. Ah, oh, come on, Quasi. You don't really believe all that, do you? Don't I? I bet that Nakawak comes back for a sneak attack. And if he does, I'll be waiting for him. Well, it's a mystery, all right. And one we need to investigate. Professor Inkling, are you there? Yes, Captain. How can I help you? Dashi took a picture of the tail of a mysterious animal, but none of us has a clue what it might be. It's the Nakawak, I tell you. The Nakawak. She's sending you the photo right now. Oh, most intriguing. Let me take a look through my books and see what I can find out. Calling all Octonauts. Quasi. Peso. Chanter. Dashi. Inkling. Wait. <clears throat> Quasi, activate Creature Report. Creature Report! Creature Report! Creature Report! Ah, elephant seals are big and strong. Check, check, check. They race and wrestle all day long. Check, check. Their big and fluffy noses hang down. And make the most unusual sounds. <laughs> elephant seals shed their skin. Check, check. Every year they grow a whole new layer in Shots Break! Yo seal! Yo seal! Yo seal! Creature Report! Creature Report! Creature Report! We're done with our mission! Octonauts at ease! Until the next adventure! He's awake! Where am I? You were molting in the water. We didn't want you to get poorly, so we brought you back to our ship, the Octopod. Ooh, thanks for helping me. The name's Leon. Can't wait to get to the beach and see my friends and family and... Uh, oh. <coughs> I don't think you're ready to move yet, Leon. Where is your beach? We'd be happy to take you there. Well, it's a beach. Uh... <sighs> With lots of molting elephant seals like me on it, then... <sighs> oh boy, molting makes me really, really, really tired. He needs to rest while he finishes growing his new skin, Captain. In the meantime, we'll look for a beach with elephant seals on it. Activating Octoscope. No elephant seals on this beach.
We've been searching for Leon's beach for days. We'll just have to try again tomorrow. Now, let's get some sleep. Leon? I feel great and I'm looking good. Check out my nice new skin and fur. You've finished all your molting. Congratulations. Chest bump! <laughs> Whoa, sorry. Uh, didn't mean to knock you over with that. Oh, not to worry. I'm fine. I'm just excited to get to the beach and play with all the other elephant seals. Well, I'm afraid we haven't found your beach quite yet. You haven't? But this is a special time when all of us wake up and play games. And I'm missing out on all the fun. Calling all Octonauts! Quasi! Peso! Charter! Dishy! Inkling! Wait! Turn up! <clears throat> Quasi! Activate Creature Report! Creature Report! Walruses live in colonies. Check, check, check. You'll find them in the Arctic seas. Check, check. They are always challenging each other to find out which of them is tougher. It's the walruses' belief check, check, check. that whoever has the biggest tusks is the chief. That's right. Our mission. Octonauts at ease until the next adventure. Enjoy the dip. So much for marching right up to them. <laughs> got me when I wasn't ready. Avast, you scurvy walruses. Hmm. There's got to be another way for us to get into the walrus colony. And then, splash, we all fell into the water. Hmm. Walruses don't like to share their home with other creatures. Sounds like if you're not a walrus, you're not getting in. But if we looked like a walrus and acted like a walrus... Maybe we could sneak in and find my medical bag. Tweak, we're going to need your help. Sure thing, Cap. Octonauts, Operation Octo Walrus begins now. Let's go. Tweak's costume will fool them. If it'll get my medical bag back, it's worth a try. Fair enough. Come in, Shellington. This is Barnacles. We're sneaking into the walrus colony now. Excellent. Now it's very important that you act like a walrus. Don't let them push you around. Huh. Must be a new guy. Walruses say hello by blowing in each other's faces. Blow back or they'll think you're being rude. Oh, um... <sighs> That's all you've got. <sighs> um, we need to blow harder. Everybody, one, two, three... <gasps> <gasps> now that's more like it. Nice to meet you. If you've got any extra clams, give them to the chief. He's hungry. We've all got to share our food until he feels better and can find his own. Right. Thanks for the tip. It's working. We've made it inside the colony. One of Peso's stickers. We must be getting close. Keep your eyes peeled. You're stepping on me tail. Sorry, but it's hard when they keep smooshing up against us. Ah, typical walrus behaviour. They love to get cosy and cuddle with one another. Cosy isn't quite the word for it. <laughs> That's better. Don't get too relaxed. Aye, oh, hey, what's this? A new guy? That's the one who took my medical bag. 
Come in, Shellington. We've got an angry walrus heading right for us. Jumping jellyfish, it's a walrus challenge. He wants to see who's bigger and tougher. If we want him to tell us where the bag is, we'll have to challenge him back. We could be bigger and tougher than he is. Hop on me shoulders, Captain. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> bigger. Are you OK, Peso? I'm okay. Calling all up to know. Quasi. Peso. Charlton. DC. Inkling. Wait. Turn up. <clears throat> Quasi. Activate creature report. Creature report. Creature report. Creature report. Ah, sea horses can't swim too well. Check. 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 They cling to seaweed with their tails. Check, check. When they are in love, they change their color. Swirling round and round each other. Seahorse babies sure are cool. Check, check, check. But Dad has the babies. That's the seahorse rule. That's right. The seahorse, the seahorse, the seahorse. Creature report. Creature report. We're done with our mission. Octonauts at ease. Until the next adventure. Octonauts, our seahorse friend Janice is lost in the storm. We're going out to save her. Gubby's all powered up and ready to go, Cap. Peso, Quasi, into the guppe. Yow! Tweak, open the octa hatch. Right away, Cap. Hold on, Octonauts. This could get bumpy. Yeah! Tis a rough one, mateys! Yow! Flappity flippers. You're enjoying this, aren't you, Quasi? Aye! There'd be nothing like an ocean storm to make a pirate feel alive! <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled for Janice. Don't see her anywhere. There she be! Holding on by her tail! <laughs> Get as close to her as I can. And then Quasi, you. Quasi? Yow! I'm coming, me hearty! Gotcha! I'll get the water tank ready for Janice, Captain. Good thinking, Peso. Thanks for saving me. How'd you get dragged out into this storm, matey? The water just swept me away. Seahorses aren't very good swimmers. We pretty much go where the water takes us. You can come back to the octopod and rest until the storm is over. But we need to find Sonny. The water pulled him away too, and I'm really worried. He's about to have our babies. In that case, we'd best find him before he... What did you say? Sonny is about to give birth to our babies. I only hope he's okay. But Daddy's don't have babies. Mums do. I mean, don't they? Not when you're a seahorse. Daddy seahorses carry babies in a special pouch until they're ready to be born. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. Janice, on my honour as an octonaut, we'll find Sonny and make sure he's safe and sound. Barnacles to Shellington and Dashy. Here, Captain. Go ahead, Captain. We need to find out which way the storm is headed and fast because a seahorse has been swept along with it. Ah, uh, sir, leave it to us. Got it! Captain, the storm is moving over the reef and then past some big rock formations. We'll send you a map of it right now. Good work, Octonauts. We'll search the reef first. Captain, the Vegemals must have gone in here. And look what they left behind. What creature makes a bite like this? Yeah, 
Looks like the bite of a fine tooth snapper. Whatever it is, we'd better be careful. Like all the vegemals are safe and sound. But what were they doing hiding in here? <laughs> they were attacked by something fast moving with big sharp teeth. What the door? I knew it! Fang Tooth Snapper, show yourself! Whoa, easy, Quasi. Everyone, wait here while I take a look around. Hmm, it looks like the coast is clear. Oh, good. Because we still have a few more mangrove seeds to plant. <laughs> Come on, Vegemals. What? Shiny! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Barracudas! Everyone, back into the mangrove forest. Those barracudas came out of nowhere. Of course. Barracudas really like shiny things. Like the Vegemals' tools. They must think they're food. <coughs> Don't worry, Tunip. They shouldn't follow us in here. Barracudas like to stay in deeper water. Can we just wait for them to go away? No. Barracudas are very patient. They can wait a long, long time for their food. Attention! Barracudas! Hello? What is it? Please, stop attacking us so we can plant our mangrove seeds. We'd like to, believe me, but those shiny things just look so delicious. Yes, we go crazy when we see them. We can't help it. OK, but this is just a gardening tool. It's not food. Shiny things! <laughs> They're just too hungry to listen. We'll have to distract the barracudas while the vegetables finish the planting. Everyone in position. Oh, I get it. Good. Vegetables, start planting on my count. One, two, three. <laughs> Shiny. Quasi, go. That's your cue, Peso. Hey, look at this. Shiny. This way. Shiny. You're up next, Shellington. It's a pair of duck-faced river monsters. A pair of duck-faced what? Now, Quasi... It is a strange, slippery beast that's said to lurk in Australian rivers just like this one. It's made up of parts from different creatures. A bill like a duck, fur like a bear, webbed paws like an otter, claws like a cat, a tail like a beaver, and worst of all, a sharp, spiny stinger like a giant bumblebee. This here sting is the work of the duck-faced river monster. Whatever it was that stung you, it looks serious. How are you feeling, Shellington? Uh, not too good, Captain. Don't worry, Shellington. I'm sure I can make you better. I just need my medical bag. Captain, I must have dropped it. It's out there. With the duck-faced river monsters. Peso, you stay in the gap and look after Shellington as best you can. Quasi, you and I are going out there to find Peso's medical bag. Oh, I almost forgot. We'll find out who this egg belongs to and return it just as soon as we take care of Shellington. Good luck out there. Sorry. Oh. Oh. No sign of the creatures yet. No sign of Peso's medical bag either. It could be anywhere in this murky muck. Oh. Looks like we've got company. Quasi, you keep them distracted while I search the riverbed. Ready? Ready, Captain. Then let's do this. Hey, you duck-faced furball! Over here! I'm not scared of you, whatever you are! Ah, sure. It's around here somewhere. I did it, Captain! Oh! Oh! 
I led those monsters on a wild goose chase. They'll never find us now. Hmm. This time, Quasi, you look for the bag, and I'll lead the creatures away. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey! Up here! That's it! Ha ha! Here I am! What's taking the Captain and Quasi so long? Don't worry, Shellington. They'll be back soon. I hope. Ah! Lappity flippers! The egg's hatching! Shiver me whiskers! Pesos bag! Look out, Quasi! Quasi, this way! Shellington, look! Oh, fascinating. A bill. A furry tail. A web claw. It's a duck-faced river monster. And it's really cute.